there we go so if you just want to sit there in the ambulance for me that, that's lovely so we'll just repeat some of the tests that we, we did inside your house and uh, and then we'll be ready to go to hospital so we'll, we'll redo your blood pressure and your oxygen levels if that's okay here we go we'll just pop this round your arm and then you'll feel it going tight just keep the arm nice and still hold both your hands out again and give me a nice squeeze well done so do you want to just pull that mask down for me and give me a nice big smile so i can have a look at your your lips and your mouth again your mouth's down ever so slightly on one side so we'll head off to the hospital now okay so we've arrived at the hospital now i'll help you stand up lovely let's go and pop you into this wheelchair well done nice and steady for me Uh, my name is Nick. We've just been asked to do a CT scan of you. Um, so we just, have you had a CT scan before? Okay. So what we're going to do is we're just going to get you to come and lay down on this bed over here. Um, it's very quick. It, does, it takes five minutes. It doesn't hurt. I just need you to keep nice and still for me. Okay. Are you okay on your feet just to get up with a bit of help? That's great. Okay. And I just need you to come and lay yourself down over here. Okay. So I just need you on your back. On here with your head just resting in this little pad for me. Um, I just need to check your ID, so I'll just check your band there, make sure you've got the right name and date of birth, we don't want to scan the wrong person. Alright, so I'm just going to move you into the scanner, okay, as I said, I just need you to keep nice and still, I'm going to pop a little strap around your head just to, start to help keep you still, and uh, five minutes of a job. Bed just moves in and out, doesn't hurt, just keep still. Hi, my name's Katie, I'm one of the orthotists here. Um, and we're going to scan your head today for a helmet. Just because of after your surgery, your head's a little less protected now. You're going to need something just to protect your skull. Okay, so if it's all right with you, I'm just going to take a quick scan just using a, a simple tablet. And then we can show you the picture. And from that, we'll send it away to the manufacturers and we'll have you a helmet made up. I'm just going to go all the way around your head, okay? Okay, lovely. And look. That's one head. And it'll just be a hard shell helmet. So as soon as it's back, I'll be back up and we'll fit it on and just make sure that it's comfortable and doing what we want it to. Okay. Afternoon, my name's Dean. I'm part of the anaesthetic team. I'm an ODP that'll be looking after you during this surgery. So what I'm gonna do first is connect you up some monitoring. This is just routine monitoring that everyone gets in the theater. So I'm just gonna pop a blood pressure cuff on, okay? I'll be going up and down throughout the procedure and then some ECG dots. These just monitor your heart. And then a little peg on your finger. This just monitors your oxygen levels. I'll pop it on the other side because we're going to pop a cannula in this side. So I'm just going to take that hand, give it a wee bit of a squeeze. And then we're just going to pop a little cannula into the back of your hand. So a sharp scratch. There we go. I'm just going to connect some fluid up to there. This just helps keep you nice and hydrated, replaces your cup of tea you missed out on. The anaesthetist is going to give you some oxygen just as you're going off to sleep. It's quite a nice feeling, but you just picture a lovely thought in your head and we'll look after you. So you just relax your head back, pleasant dreams, and we'll see you when it's all done. I'm a speech and language therapist. I've just come to check how your swallowing is at the moment. Is that okay with you? Okay, I've got a range of food and drink for you to try. So we'll just try half a teaspoon of yogurt to start with. I'm just going to check your muscles now. You just open wide. Say, ah. I'm just going to pop my fingers under your chin and feel your swallow. Okay. Swallow your saliva now. So you're finding it difficult to speak at the moment. Let's see if you can write anything down. So you drink from a, you drink from a cup. Okay, let's see if you can join in on some counting for me. Try one, two, and again, 
one, two. So if you just have a look in the book, you can point to different things to tell people what you need. So breakfast, lunch, snack, dinner. So your swallowing is difficult for you at the moment. It's likely to improve as time goes on. We'll work on that and we'll come back and see you. But for the, for the time being, you probably need a little bit extra, which might be something like a tube through your nose. And my colleagues, the dietitians, will come and speak to you about that. Hi there, my name's Megan. I'm one of the dietitians here and I'll be looking after your nasogastric feed while you're here. Um, I know at the moment that it's really difficult for you to swallow and your communication's not great. So I thought I'd just come and introduce myself and let you, yourself know that you're going to be having a bit of feed going down your tube. And if you've got any sickness or any bloating, any problems with your stools, just let me know and I can come and alter your feed rate or change your feed for you. Um, and hopefully as your swallow gets a bit better, kind of working with speech and language and myself, we can look at some textured diets. Um, and make sure that you're getting all the energy that you need um, and you can still safely swallow. Um, so I just wanted to pop in and say hi and I'll be back to check on your feed and see how you're doing. We'll get you up to full requirements. All right, see you later. Hello, my name's Rachel. I'm one of the podiatrists. I've been asked to check your feet over and see how they're doing. So one of the things I'm going to do is just listen to your pulses and check what the circulation is like in your feet. That's a really nice pulse, it's nice and regular and it's got a good beat to it. So the next thing I'm going to do is just check the sensation in your feet and what that means is I'm just checking if you can feel anything with, the, you know, with your feet because sometimes a stroke can damage the nerves. So I've got this little stick here so it's not sharp, don't worry, I'm not that mean. It's not a needle. And I'm just going to touch your feet in different places. And I just want you to say yes each time you feel it touch. Okay, so I'm just, if you want to just close your eyes, I'm just going to start with your left foot. Okay, I'm starting now. Just keep saying yes each time you feel it. That's good, you're feeling all of these. So that's that test all finished, that's brilliant. So you had a little bit less feeling, sorry, in this foot. Um, but you had really good feeling in this, but I think your stroke has affected one side of your body, so I'm not surprised that you've got a little bit less feeling in this foot, so that makes sense. So that's me done for today. Hi, my name's Debbie, I'm an orthoptist. I've been asked to come and test your vision today, so if you could look at the torch for me and follow it with your eyes, not your head. So as soon as you see the red bead appearing from the side, just give me a nod, okay? So looking straight forward at me all the time, as soon as you see the red bead, let me know. Good. And same on the other side. Now as I bring this in towards you, let me know if it goes double at all. Double there. Just keep looking at that for me. What I can do is I can give you a prism that will bring that double vision back together and make uh, your recovery a bit easier. So if I pop this over for you now, it should bring it back together. We'll leave you with that prism for now, because that will help you with your double vision. And what we'll do is we'll make you an appointment in outpatient so that we can review your double to see if it's getting any better. And we can maybe start some exercises at that point as well. Thank you very much. Hello, nice to see you again. My name's Laura, I'm an occupational therapist and I'm here to support you and look at your activities of daily living and what's important to you because the team told us you're ready to be discharged and this is my colleague. Hi, I'm Abby, I'm the physicist that's working here and I've had a little look through your notes and what you've already been doing and I see you've made some great progress but I've come today to have get you up and have a bit of a walk around and see how you're doing to make sure you're safe to go home. And we're just going to take some nice step forwards now, just as you've practised. Good, well done. Okay, now what I want you to do is just lift that right leg a little bit more off the floor to try and clear it. Make sure we're not dragging it too much. Lovely, well done. Okay, now what we will do later is we'll go through some more strengthening exercises for that right leg to try and make sure that you can clear it a little bit better just so you, you can walk more safely at home, okay? So we're just going to turn around now and go back to that chair. Something that we're going to do again later in the day 
is I'll take you up and down the stairs, just again to make sure you're safe doing that, as we get ready to discharge you and send you home, okay? So I'm gonna get let Laura have a little bit of a word with you now. You did so well there, but we're gonna have a little bit of a chat about what you need when you go home so you're able to carry on with life as normal. Now through chatting to the team, I understand you're really into cooking, is that right? When you're cooking for your family, you'll need to use both hands. Well, I've actually got something for you to take home that might help you. And it's a tin opener that you can just pop on a tin and then open it with one hand so you don't actually need both hands. And the therapy team will come see you once you're discharged so that everything's working for you safely in the kitchen. You're recovering as you need to be. So thank you for working with us today. It's been lovely to meet you and hope you recover well soon. Is that all right? So we'll give it a go whilst we make a cup of tea. Would it be all right if you made us a brew? Fantastic. I think you'll find the perching stool really helps because it, you can just have a t take a seat have a little perch whilst you're making a cup of tea. It just saves your energy. Have you had a good day? Mm -hmm. 